Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. If you want to see the most corporate quarantine move you could think of, <laughs> wait till you see this. <laughs> I actually got put together today for work. Business on the top. My OMG on the bottom. I just, just felt like I felt like doing my hair, but then I was like, I don't want to do my hair. And then I was like, you know what, I'm going to put on a collar. And then, you know, I was like, you know what, but I'm going to sit on the couch. <laughs> so I put the jimmies. Perfect. Uh, We're having leftovers for dinner. Leftovers for dinner. Target run. Dollar Snuggle store Eve. Run. Dollar store run. Snuggle Eve. All night. Oh. Nice. Love her, miss her already. She's so tired today, but she's so, so loyal to me when I cook that she was like straight up asleep and she came over here and just like slunk next to me. So we have our beans which look much thicker and more barbecue-y than the last time so that's going to be really good. I'm excited about that. I heated up the cabbage and last night's rice and veggies all together, like how we do Thanksgiving leftovers. Um, they're not mixing that much and they're pretty separate, but that's just how we always do Thanksgiving and it reminded Peter of that. And I thought that when I did that, so thought that was funny. And a quick just summer tomato and cucumber salad. So there's a perfect hype girl. You got me pumped while I was doing the dishes. I put on the best glee performance of the whole series. I'm tired. I need some of those vitamins they take. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are out and about, running into Target really quick. Super quick. Um, just to grab a few things for the road. Very last minute things. It feels like the the trip is getting ever so close now that I only have one more day of work before we hit the road. Yeah. So we gotta get road snacks, but also just like last minute stuff for the shower for us. When you're shopping and Amazon, or Target doesn't have it. You check out the Amazon Prime deal, right? <laughs> also, guess what we're watching at home just because I saw this. Look, it's like it's from the new version. I love it. Do you love it? We're truly not letting Target get to us. We're sticking to our list. Yep, checking it twice. But I did find this. Christina will be very okay. excited. Instead of getting monsters, I'm just gonna drink those yummy. Drink these. Draft lattes. Vegan. And my sister Jenna just told me about these and I thought they'd be perfect. It's not like a pop, but it's still a bubbly vacation drink for the road. The sky looks totally fake right now. I want pizza. I love some pizza. We got pizza place up here. We just pizzas. passed Loving Hut. We should have gone there. Oh, the pizza place up here. There's vegan pizza. Please. Uh, we just ate dinner. I know, but pizza. Also, something funny happened while you we were. Right there. We didn't just pass it. Oh, there's Loving Hut. Speaking of Loving Hut, um, while we were at Target, Katie texted me and she was like, "Oh, there's this vegan place on Colonial I just passed. It's called Loving Hut. Have you ever heard of it?" I said, "Yeah, we love Loving Hut. We're actually at the Target on Colonial right there." And she said, "Oh my goodness, I just left that Target. So we were at Target at the same time as Katie, but." We didn't know, and so we didn't see each other. I just hear Peter gasp really loud. Harvest. Happy fall, y'all. Wow. Everything for a dollar. To our favorite Publix, because I forgot bread at Target. So I'm running in really quick. Oh, ho, ho. Sarah's going to be pumped. Yes, ultimate road tip snack right here. Job. Jess from New Girl doesn't like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Come on. Yeah, it's the only it's... thing wrong about this entire series. Mm -hmm. At least Nick likes it. Yeah. Peter doesn't feel good. My stomach really hurts. I don't know if it was the salad I had for lunch. I really don't know what it is. It really hurts. My belly hurts too, so I'm worried. But we ate a lot of baked beans. No, it hurts like different than that. But I'm going to go on a... Today at least, like I was Wednesdays are my off day, but I just switch it with I switched it with Sunday. So, uh, but Sundays are at least my easy day. 
So I'm only going out for two miles, and I was asking Sarah earlier if I should do two really easy miles. Did you almost throw up? Kind of. Or two really fast miles. Curveball, I feel like straight up garbage. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is get out there and try to sprint as unhealthily. No, you should go slow. <laughs> no, I'm going to try to go fast to get it over with. But I feel like it's going to turn my stomach either oh, way. Gosh. So I figure hopefully... Or just go out and do whatever you can. I mean, I'm going to go out and do whatever I can. Should we all go on a two-mile walk? And hope it gets to two miles. Mm. So wish me luck. I'll see you in a little bit. So because we have not gone home this year, really since Christmas... There was a handful of birthdays that we missed. There's actually, there's way more birthdays in our family the second half of the year. So there wasn't that many, but we just missed a handful. Like that just happened. Um, and so we had to do some birthday gift shopping. And so just now I did a bunch of wrapping and it felt like Christmas. Um, so that was fun for me. That was, I haven't wrapped gifts like that since Christmas. Um, and then I got all of our road trip snacks packed up. And so tomorrow I'll just have to worry about packing clothes and packing Eve's stuff up. Um, so it's been good. We've kind of like broken up the tasks that we need to do before we go so that tomorrow's not overwhelming. We'll just want to like tidy up, do some cleaning, and pack. And that'll be it. We'll be ready to go early Friday morning. It's funny though. No, I'm just putting the Boy Meets World, Walt Disney World episode on to feel something. How'd your run go? It went okay. Okay. Now I'm trying to game plan some, some ways of like companies and people to reach out to for the fundraising. If you have any company, I'm trying to visualize it as $35,000 donations rather than $150,000. Yeah. 30, like the quantity 30, $5,000 donations. That's like 30 makes it doable. individuals makes it, or 30 yeah. companies yeah. that are willing to do at least a $5,000 donation. The new old fountain, like the fountain that they just put back up, I think it's, it's probably newly constructed, um, was in this episode. Like I had never seen it. I don't think I did at least in Future World. Um, Ooh, they're by the fountain. But anyways, it's just so cool to see like the new old thing we put in, and plus like just Epcot, Epcot past. All right, today is August twelfth. It's March the thirteenth. We bring Eve to our friends, and we leave early on the fourteenth. And I think it was this week I will have officially not been in my office in five months, which is crazy to think about. It's time to go to bed, I guess. It's way too late. I think I'm avoiding tomorrow because I don't want to say goodbye to Eve. Um, it's 12.40 in the morning, but I know I'm going to be mad at myself and regretful if I stay up any later. So I'm going to get the girls and we're going to go to bed. Um... I am excited for the trip. I'm very excited. We haven't been to Chicago, and this has been the longest stretch, I think, since moving here that we haven't been. Bummer we can't go downtown at all. Um, but we're going to see all of our friends and family, and that'll be great. And we have a baby shower, and we've waited our whole lives for a baby shower, so that's going to be perfect. And I love a good road trip. And I feel like we haven't had a solid road trip in a while. I mean, since Christmas, really. Um, but I think we drove through for that. I think so. We're so we've never been more prepared for a drive, and we're, it's gonna be awesome driving. We're gonna because we're dropping off Eve tomorrow night. We're gonna get up real early Friday, and drive. Um, not like an insane amount of time. We're gonna get to Nashville at a decent hour grab dinner even there and hang out at this Airbnb before hitting the road for a real short drive, not real short, it's still going to be like eight hours I think the next day, um, but that's not, that's super manageable, especially if we leave early on Saturday too, so I'm excited, so make sure you follow along with our adventures, it's good to be home.
know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.